Hi there, I'm Philip, and I'm going to teach you today about Fortran. Uh, Fortran is a programming language just like C or C++ or Java, uh, and it's used to uh, primarily in the scientific and engineering community because it's uh, very good at matrix and array and uh, floating point operations. Uh, it's pretty much unused outside of the scientific and engineering community, so if you're looking to learn how to do general purpose programming, Fortran's probably not what you're looking for. Uh, instead you might want to check out C++ or Java or um, maybe C Sharp or other .NET languages. Uh, so anyways, uh, first step is to download the Fortran compiler that we're going to be using, which is gFortran. And just click on the first link um, and go to download binaries and so I'm on Mac but you might be on Windows so uh, if you're on Windows you will uh, it looks like you'll need to install MinGW or uh, Sijuan. Sijuan is something that I've done and it's you can attest to it being pretty easy so easy to do so uh, maybe you'll want to do that rather than MinGW because when you're installing Sijuan you can just select I want to install uh, GFortran and it'll do it for you. Uh, but anyways, I'm on Mac so I'm going to do it on Mac. So I'm going to click um, see Mac OS Lion and just click on download and it's going to download a file to my downloads folder obviously and it may take a while. So Fortran is a pretty old language. In fact, it uh, came around in about, I think, the 50s. And it's been pretty relatively unused since then. But uh, just recently, in the past few years, its um, its popularity has been going up. Uh, and that's because people are realizing that uh, Fortran is built in a way that lends itself better, to, better than most programming languages, I think to parallel problems. So problems that can make use of uh, multiple cores and uh, faster, I mean, uh, not faster, uh, multiple cores basically uh, in your computer. And it's because it, I mean, it's a lot harder to do, I think, in uh, C or C++. And also because it's just a faster language by the nature of its design. Okay, so we downloaded Fortran and now the next step is to install it. On Mac, this is pretty simple. Just run this program, or ex uh, load this, uh, this drive, virtual drive, and run the installer. Apologies for the people yapping outside. Okay, so we're done, and we have close. And so now G G4Trans has been installed. So uh, you'll want to open up a new terminal window, which you can do by going, if you have never done this before, just go to Finder, and select Applications, and then Terminal. Actually, it's uh, under Utilities. <laughs> terminal. And I don't use, actually, this program, but this will do it for you, I think. Uh, you can either use Terminal. This is t what Terminal looks like you can actually customize the appearance, but um, what I use instead is something called iTerm. Uh, and if you want to download that yourself, just search for iTerm2, that's what it's called. And you can download this for Mac. It's a nice replacement for a terminal. But anyways, regular terminal will do this as well. Um, but just open up a new terminal window and type gfortran. And if it tells you fatal error, that means it's working right, because that's what it does when you just type gfortran. Uh, so if that worked for you, that's good, and that means you've got it installed, and the next step is to learn how to use Fortran.